Welcome back to Aggie Land Anywhere. Today's warm up is brought to you by Josh Cadinez, so I will probably be referencing my computer and making sure that I don't do this wrong, so just bear with me. Right. Starting off, we have two sets of jumping jacks. We're starting off with 25 regular jumping jacks. Going from there, you're doing 25 uh, arms and front jumping jacks. From there, you're going to be doing 10 on each leg of a Spider-Man lunge. From there, we'll be doing 10 on each side or 20 total of a Cossack squat or a side lunge. From there, we'll be doing inchworms into push-ups. 10 of those. From there, we'll be doing some lateral trunk twists, just very simple. From there, we'll be doing uh, 10 arm circles forward and then 10 backwards. From there, we'll just be doing normal shoulder shrugs. And then we'll do 10 wrist circles forward for our strength today. We're going to be doing uh, two different movements back to back. We'll be doing three rounds of 10 hip bridges. Single leg hip bridges, you can add an implement to this if you want. Uh, you can easily add a dumbbell here, working on that. But you're going to have a five second hold at the top of each rep. You can also put your foot on a chair or a couch and do a similar movement there with the five second hold. Woo! So 10 on each leg from there. You'll be doing the uh, same kind of thing, 10 supermans with a five second hold at the top of each rep there. So here. Three rounds. Our workout today is a chipper workout starting with 100 air squats. From there, we'll go into 75 sit-ups using a pillow or something. We'll do an ab mat sit-up. Shoulder blades all the way down to the ground, hands in front of the feet. From there, we'll be doing 50 tuck jumps. From there, we'll be doing 25 lying leg raises. And you'll finish with a 400 meter run. One round through for time. For our core today, we're gonna accumulate three minutes total in a hollow body hold. A couple things about hollow body hold. We can have uh, making it more difficult by putting those hands to the back. This will kind of make it a little bit more doable. And as my back starts to arch, I feel it starting to arch off the ground, I wanna go ahead and raise those legs up so that I can keep the compression of the hip and rib together. You'll accumulate three minutes. So every time you drop, go ahead and stop your clock and start it back up once you go again, all the way to that three minute marker. For our range of motion today, we'll be doing about a minute in a butterfly stretch first. You can come forward, you can push those knees down with the elbow. From there, we'll be doing a seated straddle stretch. And lastly, we'll be doing a half saddle For a minute apiece. 